A1 Sports Center, Manchester, New Hampshire. Pretty good company. So Michael bought his sled. Hey, look what we got in here. Hey, look, we're actually filming with a regular camera, not with a piece of coin. But uh, anyway, so we'll get to that in a little bit here. I'm sure you know what's coming for it. Anyway, so today is Friday. Uh, I know you guys haven't seen a video, in, well, at least today, really. I just say I had to help my uncle, and the same deal today, I had to help him. I'm trying to move some stuff around his yard because he's got so much friggin' shit that he's been hoarding over the past millions of years. So uh, we've been moving that kind of stuff around. I uh, moved his RV up in the hill yesterday, as you guys saw that video. Filmed it with a piece of corn. Uh, it's the next one down from the potato. Um, yeah. So hope you guys enjoyed that. A little bit of Cummins power for you. It's kind of sort of like a Ford. I mean, that thing's actually built like a Ford, only it's got a Cummins engine in it. It's actually using Ford Ranger taillights, believe it or not. But anyway, so I've been helping him, moving a bunch of shit around, chopped down a shitload of trees and brush, and oh, it's just a big mess. But, um, yeah, that's what I've been doing. And, uh, what else? Oh, yeah, we got a couple things to do next week. We've got a motor to pull out of a Porsche, uh, a few other little things. We might get some videos of that and stuff. So it'll be interesting, just kind of help him clean up the yard so he can get his snowmobile in his garage and he can start working on it. Just like what I'm going to be doing this weekend. Well, Almost everything I'm going to be doing this weekend. This weekend, tomorrow we're going to the Snowmobile Show in Manchester, New Hampshire. Uh, I saw it pretty cool there. A little bit of uh, seeing what's going on. Might buy some new, <coughs> uh, new uh, carbides for the skis. Uh, I might buy two sets: one for this sled and one for my uh, ZR700. Um, yeah, my ZR700. So many friggin' ZRs um, for that one. And uh, once we get back tomorrow from the show, don't think I'm gonna videotape. I just like going to things, putting around. I usually have to videotape the wheel, world of wheels. Uh, some of the show isn't really all that big; it's kind of small. So, yeah. But anyway, so this weekend we're planning on uh, getting this thing buttoned up and finished. Actually, uh, I was hoping my shocks would have came in today, but those apparently didn't come in today. I guess they'll be coming in tomorrow. I was hoping to have me this weekend, but I don't guess that's not happening. I ordered. Uh, Set of shocks that are basically almost brand new. They rebuilt uh, the Articat shocks. We're going to replace the one Fox shock here. This is a Fox shock. It, I think it's pretty much, you know, it needs to be rebuilt, I'd say. And, you know, you can just put a little bit of pressure on it and it just goes right down. Um, this one over here, you know, it's an Articat shock, but it's got freaking like a million miles on the sled anyway. It's got like 2,000 something on the sled. Yeah, just about 2,700 miles on the sled. So I'm sure that could use a little bit of a adjustment. So we're just going to replace both of them. I got a pretty good deal on them. I got two of them for altogether a price of 70 bucks. Uh, these things are Brent, uh, yeah, Brent, mint. They have no rust on them. Uh, the paint's good. They are rebuilt. So it should be pretty good. So we get those coming in. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, we got the sled. That took quite a bit to get this guy in here because it's just so much heavier and bigger. Uh, as you can see, we got the new windshield on it. Well, it's not really on it, on it. It's just on there, sitting on it. Uh, this weekend, we're going to pretty much get the thing all buttoned up. Uh, we're going to wet sand and buff the hood. As you can still see, there's a little bit of orange peel in there. That's why it's so reflectory on the uh, lighting here. It looks kind of shitty. Uh, so we're going to wet sand and buff that. Paint should be all hardened. Yeah, paint's pretty hard now. So we get that to work on, and I have a nice box full of $250 parts. Very good. Take a look at that bill. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. Look at all the freaking numbers. Yikes. Ooh, what the hell? $59 part. What the hell could that be? Yeah, it's a snow flop. Oh, and yeah, I gotta ship a couple things out too tonight. Country Cat, pretty much the cheapest place around where I order parts from. There's this other place called uh, Articat Power Tow, something like that. They're friggin' rip off. Won't be switching back to them anytime soon. But, anyway, so I'll show you what's in the box. Quite a bit in the box, actually. This is a brand new. There we go. Brand new Articat Snow Flap for my Articat Sabercat EXT. I'm gonna replace that. The one that's on there right now is all chewed up and it's just been driving me crazy so I'm gonna replace it brand new one for 50 bucks it's worth it or 59 bucks whatever because I got friggin OCD problems like you wouldn't believe some things will drive me crazy some shit just won't uh, I'm just trying to figure out how I'm gonna open this up maybe I'll open it up over here uh, 
Let's get a knife here. Hold on, flip this down. I don't, I'm not planning on rendering this video, not editing it, so I'm just gonna go with it. Alright. This right here, chain case oil. Uh, there's two different ones in here. One is for the reverse. This is chain lubricant for this sled, for the ZRT. And the other bottle down here, the smaller bottle, is for my ZR700. And I grabbed an extra bottle of chain case fluid for my Saber Cat. So that's there, that's a reverse kit on there, so you need that. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Oh, we got a bag in a bag, that's interesting. We have two new little flapper guys for the side. That goes on this guy. Two new handlebars, grips. Those things look pretty nice actually compared to the ones that are on there. Those look really nice actually, shit. Those look pretty nice. Oh wait, well, these are electrical tape, but as you can see, these are just the square ones that come across. So these are actually pretty nice. I like those, those are pretty nice looking. You got two AWS suspension stickers. These go down here, and then I replace that and that. I think these are like two bucks or something ridiculous. Just gonna replace them, I'm gonna repaint them. I'm trying to make this thing look as stock as can be. Uh, these are the carburetor parts. Carburetor part. This is a washer. Three of those. You know, obviously there's three carburetors. Uh, this is a plastic piece here that covers up this little gap here. That goes right in there. Flips in. Boom, da da bing. Or bing, da da boom. I guess we're going backwards tonight. These are starter jets, when we rip apart the carburetor, putting in all new jets on the thing, so there's, there's one of them. We have a $30 exhaust gasket for my Sabre Cat, because it's blowing chunks out the side of it, so I gotta replace that. This is a reflector, that part there goes on back here. This one here is missing, and I cannot ride a snowmobile in New Hampshire without back reflectors. See that side has it. That side don't, so we gotta replace that. Oop, we just hit the zoom button. Listen to that. What are these? I also don't even know what these are. Oh yes I do. These are chain case gaskets, if I do remember correctly. Yep, drop case cover gaskets. There should be two of them. Yeah, that looks like two of them. Let me just check that. Yep, package quantity two. This is two of those. This is... What the hell are those for? Flip Christmas tree. What the hell are, they, what are these things for? Huh, strange. What the hell did I order those for? Start out, washer, pilot, o-ring, seal, drop case, blah blah blah. Huh. I guess they just gave me some free clips. I don't know what that's all about. I don't remember ordering those. Strange. Oh well, we'll go with it. These are the main jets. Oh wait, nope, these are the pilot jets. Three of those. That's it. Oop, don't want to lose those. This is a fuel filter, because once we rip apart this thing, we're just going to rip apart everything, replace everything once we're in there. So we'll replace that as well. These are some O-rings. O-rings, I forget what these are for. Something with the carburetor, I know we got to replace those. Wait, why is there four of them? Oh, wait a minute, no, no, no. These are actually for the windshield. Those actually stretch out, and uh, they go in these little... Flapper guys, right there. It's what holds this piece on. As you can see, mine are missing. So we're gonna replace that. We have push buttons. These are the little guys here that just cover up the holes once you're all done. You just go on like the screw guys, and you put that on like that, and it makes it all nice and nice, so that way you're not looking at a screw. That'll rust out in about a year. These are gaskets for the reed cages. 
Uh, we're going to clean the reeds while we're in there. Makes sense to. There's no sense in doing it twice. Making two jobs at once, so... Two sets of those. Watch this three sets, what I'm saying. These guys right here are for the windshield. Screws for the windshield. More jets. These are the main jets. It's a 350 main jet. Uh, right now that's in there is a uh, 420 main jet. And the reason why we're replacing them is because uh, when I bought the sled, I don't know if I... I might have already told you guys about a week ago, but for new subscribers, what the hell. I bought the sled back in January, February, March, April, I want to say. And uh, I bought it from a guy. He bought it from another guy. He let his uh, mentally challenged son ride it. And he crashed it into a tree. Uh, if you watched last weekend's video, we repaired the hood all in this area. There was a big major crack that went up here. Uh, that's all fixed up. Um, as you can see, there's still a little bit of a crack in there. Uh, the previous owner from me... Uh, replaced the belly pans, pulled the engine out, and redid everything. Um, yeah, and the performance pipes that were in there. Uh, I was told this thing has a big bore kit in it. I just don't see it happening. It just doesn't seem right. I think it's just what I've been told. Not exactly doing it for me. So I, I don't even think it really has a big bore kit. Big bore kit in. It. I think it's just more of an 800. I mean, I couldn't find any markings on the cylinders that they reported or anything like that. I, you think that the head bolts would have been torqued a little, you know, you can see the markings. I just don't really see it on the sled. Unless someone did a really good job. Could be wrong. I don't know. But we're going to put the stock pipes back on it. My uncle was really not successful at fixing up the other pipe. The other pipe was all dented in, banged up, gone. Um, really can't fix them. These are Simon CPR pipes. If anyone's interested, let me know. I might be uh, selling them soon. Uh, but the other pipes really... Well, he's pretty much is better off buying new pipes for him. I mean, that's what it is. Um, so, hey, it is what it is. So, we're going to go with the stock pipe. Stock pipe's already in there, but i got to pull them out everything and every way to do the gaskets, do springs and all that stuff. <clears throat> anyway, keep going on. Uh, gaskets for carburetor. And these are 12 springs for my uncle's Articat Wildcat. He has a 94 Articat Wildcat Mountain Cat type deal, and pretty much all of his exhaust springs are rusted up and they're getting ready to go bing, explode. So, I had to order those up for So, I hope you enjoyed a little bit of an unboxing video for you. Something different. But, anyway, that's the plan we got going on this weekend. I'm going to be ripping this engine completely apart, pretty much. Uh, if I can take this off real quick, I'll show you the engine. Come on, stay still for a minute. Yeah, let's see here. Are we gonna do this. Oh, there we go. Stay. Where am I gonna put this in? Stick on top of this soap, soap blower. Let's not scratch this or break this. Because this is brand new. Safest way to hold up a hood, but hopefully it works. It's only at a slight crooked angle. But anyway, so here's the engine 800 triple Articat VRT 800. It's a 2000 Articat, and pretty much what we're going to be doing is we're going to be pulling all these parts off, all hidden and combobulated, to get to these three little carburetors down there, along with the reed valves. And those are right here. Reed cages are right in there. I do those screws. These are the carburetors. Have to pull all these off and do them right because the previous owner fucked up. Plain and simple. Uh, pretty much what he did was when he got the sled, he fixed the belly pan, he put a new belt on, he put this and that on there. And then the stupid idiot that he is, he, uh, Took the carburetors apart and uh, rebuilt them, cleaned them out, and then he uh, pretty much let it sit for a year with the gas on. What a dumbass. Actually, the carburetor's been kind of sitting for two years now. So, even better to reason to change everything out. Uh, it has a D&D clutch kit on it, as you can see. 
spring is a little bit different, not stock springs. Um, yeah. Pretty cool when it's fired up, it rips pretty loud. That's for damn sure. PJ's kind of sort of scared of it. It's pretty funny. But anyway, that's what we got going on this weekend. We're going to be doing a lot of cool stuff with this guy. Oh, this is just going to be a mess in here. It's like I don't even know where to begin on this thing. Probably have to take off the damn oil container now. Oil container is probably going to come off. Air box obviously has to come off. Oh, this is going to be wonderful. I cringe every time when I saw these carburetors. I was like, you know what? I really hope I never have to do one of those. Guess what? I'm doing it. Yeah. I won't even do it on my ZR700 that I cherish with. Like, I love that sled. That sled's friggin' mint. But you won't catch me doing a carburetor on that thing. Because it looks identical to this thing. So maybe once I'm done with this one. Actually, once I'm done with this one, I know for a fact I'm not even going to want to do another one of these. This is just... Oh, a friggin' mess and a half. So many pieces in the way. Ay, ay, ay. Oh well, we'll get it fixed up. No. Yeah. Found out why that light bulb wasn't working, PJ. Yeah. Yeah, okay, sort of missing a little part there. Mm. That makes sense, and why we could figure it out. The bulb was good, but it didn't work. Yeah, that's junk. Oh boy, what a mess. What a mess. Jeez. You just crammed this shit right in there. Then again, it's not as bad as my saber cat. Oh, it's gonna be a fun weekend. I'm already cringing, boys. I'm already cringing. Oh, yep. Yeah. Unbelievable. I'm tired, too. Yep. I was going to do the brakes on it, but I was like, you know what, screw it. The sled's already getting enough money dumped into it. <clears throat> Got a new chain case gasket, like I was telling you. I'm going to pull, pull the old one out. It's right here, and the new one goes in. <clears throat> Tomorrow, if I'm lucky, at the snowmill show, I'll get some new ski bars. Uh, ski bars, yeah. Uh... New sliders for it because these underneath here, they're pretty much junk. I'll see if I can pick it up. I'll show you. I don't know, can you tell? Oh. Yeah, I don't think you guys even saw that, but they're, uh, <laughs> they're a mess. Let's just put it that way. Oh, I know why this thing was so heavy to get out of the snowmobile trailer. Because it has a full tank of fuel. Apes, forgot to tell that to my uncle. Son of a bitch. That's why it's so hard to. Get out of the trailer. Anyway, guys, we're gonna end the video here. It's been a long day for me. Tomorrow we're getting a long day ahead of us of ripping apart triple carburetors. Just cringe every time. But uh, yeah. So I guess we'll uh, talk to you guys all tomorrow. Until then, don't buy a snowmobile with triple carburetors or a triple engine, rather. Unless it's an EFI, if it's an EFI, go for it. But then again, you might have some problems. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. See ya. Oh yeah, we still gotta get the stickers put on this thing too. That'll also be tomorrow's project. Yeah.